Hi everybody, welcome back. We are inching ever so close to the holidays and that means travel season. Maybe you've got some plans to visit family out of state or out of the country or maybe somebody's coming to see you. But nonetheless, when we travel, we've got to think about our beauty regimen as well. But as you know, with the TSA recommendations, we can't have bottles this big anymore. We've got to bring it down to size to about this big, which can bring about some uh, interesting travel predicaments when it comes to our beauty regimen. But um, I've discovered some tips and tricks along the way for traveling to help you downsize and minimize, but at the same time, still get the most out of your products and be able to utilize things possibly in different ways. So I'd like to share with you my beauty essentials when I travel anywhere, and this could be a relative's house or it could be a hotel. And there are some interesting sets of circumstances that come with both, and we'll kind of walk through that right now. But first and foremost on my travel checklist, and this um, applies when I get on an airplane because I love to try to catch a nap when I, when I fly. So I always bring my fabulous little soft silky mask to put on um, and this is great too if you stay in a um, hotel or a room that might not be very dark i don't know about you but i want my sleeping environment to be like a cave as dark and as quiet as possible and since you don't know what you're going to get sometimes it's always good to have a little sleep mask to help you out if there's too much light wherever you may be also, a biggie, and for those of you ladies who are married, you probably already have these, but um, yeah, little earplugs <laughs> to drown out the hubby snoring or maybe Uncle Jim snoring in the room next door or kids' noises or whatever it may be. But the key to a sound sleep, earplugs. So get you some. A couple of other things that I always have with me. I always bring eye drops because when I fly, my eyes get really dry and I don't like having red irritated eyes. So an eye lubricant <laughs> that's now on the floor um, is a good thing to have. Obviously a little packet of Advil or whatever pain relief you use if you get any headaches or whatnot. I always bring um, Carmex with me. I'll, I'll probably put this in my purse because obviously you've got to um, deal with those size requirements when you fly. So something small in your carry-on or your handbag. And then you know, if you saw one of my um, beauty favorites, you know I love this Lansano balm. It's not a lip balm, but I have made it a lip balm. And I definitely use this at night no matter where I'm going. Um, I just love how this feels and my lips are moist all night and into the morning so that's a great one to have too here's a really good thing you know sometimes you get samples of products when you buy certain products or you get gifts and um you know little product samples that come with those so i collect all of them because i know for traveling these are the sizes that i'm going to need and so i'll leave my big bottles at home and i'll pack samples and it's a great opportunity for me to try new products when i'm on the road these are my go-to's in my little travel bag. Also, I love vanilla and so I have these little bottles of vanilla type fragrance. You knew this was coming, didn't you? La Maison de la Vanille and it's a it, it's a big box that comes with about five or six different vanilla fragrances. This is Vanille Noir du Mexique and it's a great size, a little travel size perfume. So this is super. You don't want to bring the big ounce bottle and then God forbid that thing cracks in your purse. Oh, have fun with that. Also, I will make sure that I bring along a nail polish that matches the color that I have on because there's nothing worse than getting someplace and you've got your perfectly manicured nails and your pedicure and all that working for you and then you get a chip. And I don't know about you, but if I chip my nail, it's all I can think about. I obsess over chip nails. It drives me crazy and I think everybody is honing in on my chip nail. So to get over that issue, <laughs> I just bring a nail polish with me and I touch it up in case it's needed. Obviously, hair products. Um, I am just dropping things today. Am I a spaz or what? Hold on. Hairspray, root lift, great to bring with you. I will also pack along a couple of Velcro rollers because if I feel that my hair is getting a little flat, especially in a dry, dry climate, I'll pop in the rollers, um, spray the root with my spray, heat it up with the hair dryer, Boom, I've got my lift going again. And these don't take up too much space. And what's nice is that larger, smaller, one fits in the other and you can save some travel space there. This is uh, all smooth cream. It's a smoothing cream in case, and I don't know about you, but when the climate gets really dry and especially if I'm flying, I start getting those crazy flyaways. So I'll take just a little bit of a smoothing cream, put it on, smooth it out, brings back that shine and it controls those crazy flyaways in the dry 
wintry months. Okay, this is a biggie. So if you travel somewhere, this will save you a lot of hassle when it comes to packing shampoos and conditioners, especially if you stay at a hotel. Here's what I find. I can get away with a hotel shampoo, but I find that hotel conditioners are not creamy and rich enough for my dry hair. So I pack with me. You know how I love the conditioner that comes in the bottle of color that you buy, preference by L'Oreal. If ever I'm doing a root touch up, I'll buy a box of hair color just because I love the conditioner so very much. So I bring this with me to condition my hair wherever I travel. And like I said, I can get away with the hotel shampoo, but then I use this conditioner and it's just like I'm home. And my hair is soft and silky and I don't have to worry about lugging a big bottle of shampoo and conditioner. Now, here's where hotel shampoo and conditioner can really work for you and save some travel space. The hotel shampoo you can actually use as face wash instead of the bar of soap because I find with bars of soap there's too much of a residue that's left over. I can deal with it on my hands but not on my face. So I'll use their shampoo for face wash and then I make sure that I bring my Neutrogena makeup remover cloths with me and then I can follow up on top of that get rid of any residual makeup. This is especially great for eye makeup, mascara, and things like that. And you're good to go, and you don't have to pack face soap, which also runs the risk of leaking in your bag. The other thing that I do is I will use the hotel conditioner as shaving cream. So I don't have to pack shaving cream. The conditioner is perfect. You can use it for your legs, your underarms. It's great for shaving. And again, it saves space. Another thing that I'll bring with me whenever I travel, I always collect um, bottles of moisturizer because they always, you know, are nice travel size bottles. So I've got this one from Calavi and I'll pack it up and take it with me wherever I'm going. So I've got my moisturizer and it's the right size. When it comes to makeup, very simple, really just a few things that you need. I will use a BB or a CC cream, which doubles as a moisturizer and foundation. Especially as you get into the winter months, my skin gets drier and I love this combination. This one is my personal favorite right now. It's by IT Cosmetics, Your Skin But Better, CC Plus, Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream, SPF 50 Plus. Even wonderful if you're skiing and you're out on the slopes. Great, great coverage. Uh, this one is called Tan. They come in all different types of colors, but I love um, the application of this, how even, how smooth. I feel like I'm wearing foundation and moisturizer at the same time. Saves me two things to pack when it's combined like this. Also, I'll collect little boxes of brushes and things. And so this one I got as a gift a while back. And this is just a little case of small brushes to take with me. Eyeshadow brush, blush brush, a little sponge. Uh, again, it saves space and I'm a pack rat. Whenever I get gifts of things, I save them because I know when I fly and travel, these will really come in handy. And then I'll take one makeup kit, um, an eyeshadow kit. And this one was featured in my giveaway. This is the Too Faced Matte Eye, but it's perfect because it's small and self-contained and you've got all of your eyeshadows in one spot. So this saves a lot of space as well. And one last thing that I'll bring, you know, it, I sometimes go back and forth over whether to pack my hair dryer or not, but my hair dryer is such a big lug. Um, I tend to save space. I'll put up with the hotel hair dryer, but it's never as hot and as powerful as I would like it to be. So what I will do is I'll pack my flat iron. And this way, the hotel hair dryer will do the job well enough. It'll smooth it out, but you know, sometimes my waves will try to kick in. And if I'm going for a really straight look, I can follow up the ends with my flat iron. And that way I don't have to pack my big dryer. This is about half the size and half the weight as well. But those are my tips and tricks for traveling to try to keep things down to size. Obviously, you're going to pack, you know, eyeliner, mascara. Oh, my other trick too, take two lipsticks. Take one for nighttime, like a red and a berry. And then for a daytime, use a little rosy or a dusty pink, something very, very light. So you only need two shades, one for day, one for night. Um, other than that, you can pack your normal stuff. But again, we all have to try to fit these things inside our carry-ons and um, bags that we have. I, I think two more things just hit the floor. <laughs> It's just one of those days. <laughs> Tis the season to travel. So anyway, I will be able to get all those things that I showed you in this bag. And I believe all of them are the required size for a carry-on. If they're not, then you can just pack it into your suitcase and, and take, you know, 
your carry-ons um, with you as long as everything's the right size. There's nothing, nothing worse. It's happened to me before where you have to dump right there um, at the TSA checkpoint product that you are deeply attached to. So I'm trying to save you that aggravation. Make sure that the uh, ounces are the right size. Go onto the uh, website and you can check the TSA and make sure that you are good to go. So my friends, during this holiday season, as you make your way out of town, let me remind you to go out there, be bold, be blessed, and I will see you in a week.